The quest for Montezuma's treasure and the Atlantis Hall of Records, unraveling the mysteries of lost civilizations. Dan Dillman is a third-generation researcher, explorer, and treasure hunter, who has devoted his life to unraveling the mysteries of lost civilizations, including Atlantis and Ostlan. Dillman's research has led him to explore the teachings of historians, renowned mystics such as Plato, Edgar Cayce, Helena Blavatsky, Rudolf Steiner, and Yul Stanley Anderson, his grandfather Raymond Dillman and many others, each with their unique perspective on these lost civilizations. Plato was an ancient Greek philosopher who lived in Athens from around 428-427 BC to 348-347 BC. He was a student of Socrates and went on to become one of the most influential figures in Western philosophy. Plato founded the Academy in Athens, which was one of the first institutions of higher learning in the Western world. His philosophy covered a wide range of topics, including metaphysics, ethics, politics, epistemology, and aesthetics. Plato's writings are known for their use of dialogue and his famous works include The Republic, Symposium, and Phaedo. His ideas have had a profound impact on Western thought and continue to be studied and debated by scholars and philosophers today. Plato wrote about Atlantis in his dialogues, Timaeus and Critias. These two dialogues are part of a series of works known as the Platonic Dialogues, which were written by Plato in the 4th century BC. In the Timaeus, Plato introduces the story of Atlantis as a prelude to a discussion on the nature of the universe and the role of the gods in its creation. The Critias then goes into greater detail about the history and culture of Atlantis, including its advanced technology and engineering, its military might, and its eventual downfall. Edgar Case was an American clairvoyant who is known for his predictions and insights into past lives and the mysteries of the universe. Case claimed to have access to the Akashic Records, a universal database that contains information on every soul's past, present, and future. According to Case, the civilization of Atlantis was highly advanced, with technologies and spiritual knowledge that far surpassed anything we have today. He believed that the Atlanteans were responsible for many of the pyramids and other ancient structures around the world. Helena Blavatsky was a Russian occultist, philosopher, and author who founded the Theosophical Society in 1875. Blavatsky believed that the Atlanteans were highly evolved spiritually, with knowledge and wisdom that could transform the world. She claimed that the Atlanteans were responsible for the rise of many ancient civilizations and that their teachings were passed down through various cultures and civilizations. Rudolf Steiner was an Austrian philosopher, social reformer, and spiritualist who founded the Anthroposophical Society in 1913. Steiner believed that the Atlanteans had a highly evolved spiritual consciousness and that their knowledge was passed down through various cultures and civilizations. He claimed that the civilization of Atlantis was destroyed due to its misuse of advanced technologies and that we must learn from their mistakes to avoid a similar fate. Yule Stanley Anderson was an American author and spiritual teacher who is best known for his book Three Magic Words. Anderson believed that the teachings of the ancient Atlanteans and Aztlanians were encoded within our DNA and that we could unlock this knowledge through spiritual awakening. He believed that the lost civilizations possessed advanced technologies and spiritual knowledge that could help us transform our world. Raymond Dillman, Dan's grandfather, was a renowned researcher, explorer, amateur archaeologist, psychic, and remote viewer who dedicated his life to unraveling the mysteries of the ancient world. He was known as a legend in the treasure hunting community for spearheading the Dillman family's search for Montezuma's treasure, which he believed was connected to the ancient civilization of Atlantis and other off-planet worlds. As the patriarch of the Dillman family's quest, his grandfather's dedication and passion for uncovering hidden knowledge continue to inspire Dan's family and others who share his fascination with the mysteries of the past. His legacy lives on in our continued efforts to explore and uncover the secrets of the ancient world.
Through Dillman's studies of these mystics' teachings, he has come to believe that Montezuma's treasure may hold the key to unlocking the secrets of Atlantis and Ostlan. Montezuma, the Aztec's high priest and ruler, was said to have been a keeper of the ancient teachings from these lost civilizations. His treasure, which includes a collection of artifacts, is believed to contain a map or other information that could lead us to the location of the records of Atlantis. The Atlantis Hall of Records is an ancient library of knowledge that is believed to hold records of the civilization of Atlantis, as well as other lost civilizations such as Ostlan. According to legend, the hall contains scrolls of wisdom, historical records, and advanced knowledge that could transform our understanding of the past and shape the course of human history. While the existence of the Atlantis Hall of Records is still debated among scholars, Dillman believes that the ancient records of Atlantis have been saved and passed down through the ages to other civilizations and that Montezuma was one of the keepers and guardians of the ancient records of Atlantis and that Montezuma hid them somewhere in southern Utah in a sacred location, where it is rumored to have been protected by the ancient tribes of the Four Corner area. The advanced mathematics, astronomy, engineering and knowledge the Aztecs, Maya and Inca possessed is evidence to me that they were keepers of the ancient wisdom of Atlantis. Dan Dillman and his team are currently leading an excavation in southern Utah, searching for any clues that could guide us toward Montezuma's treasure and the sacred ancient records of Atlantis. The Dillmans are filming their adventures and they plan to share their journey with the world. As the Dillmans continue their explorations and excavations, they remain optimistic that they may soon uncover the secrets of these lost civilizations. While the truth about Atlantis and Ostlan may never be fully known in our lifetime, the pursuit of knowledge and wisdom remains a driving force in the human quest for understanding. Through the Dillman's ongoing expeditions in southern Utah, they honor the history and legends of the past, and embrace the possibility of discovering the truth. The teachings of Plato, Edgar Case, Helena Blavatsky, Rudolf Steiner, and Yul Stanley Anderson and Dan's grandfather Raymond Dillman have shed more light on the mysteries of lost civilizations, including Atlantis and Ostlan. Through their insights, Dan have come to believe that Montezuma's treasure may hold the key to unlocking the secrets of these lost civilizations and other worldly realms. By examining the legends and myths surrounding Montezuma's treasure and the Atlantis Hall of Records, Dan and his team remain optimistic that they may soon uncover the truth about these lost civilizations. The pursuit of knowledge and wisdom is a never-ending journey, and the legends of Atlantis and Ostlan remind us that there is still so much to learn about the world and our place in it. The Atlantis Hall of Records, Montezuma's treasure, and the lost civilizations they represent inspire us to explore the mysteries of the past and to gain a better understanding of our present and future. Dan Dillman believes that the connection between Atlantis and Ostlan, Montezuma's treasure, and the Atlantis Hall of Records is real. While Dan's theories that he is putting forth may not be widely accepted by mainstream academia, he believes that the pursuit of knowledge and wisdom is a journey worth taking, and who can say that he is wrong? In addition to his pursuit of knowledge and wisdom regarding the lost civilizations of Atlantis and Ostlan, Dan and his team are witness to unexplainable phenomena that continue to baffle experts and laypeople alike. UFO sightings, strange lights in the sky, and otherworldly noises possibly from Bigfoot are just a few examples of the inexplicable experiences that they continue to encounter. While some skeptics may dismiss these occurrences as mere anomalies, they serve as a reminder that there is still so much we do not know about our world and the universe beyond. As we continue to explore the mysteries of the past, we also keep an open mind to the mysteries of the present and future. In conclusion, the pursuit of Montezuma's treasure and the ancient records of Atlantis is a quest for knowledge and wisdom that has captivated explorers and treasure hunters for centuries. Through Dillman's studies of the teachings of mystics, he has gained a deeper understanding of the lost civilizations of Atlantis and Ostlan. By examining the history, legends and myths surrounding Montezuma's treasure and the Atlantis, 
Dan Dillman and team remain optimistic that we may soon uncover the truth about these lost civilizations. The pursuit of knowledge and wisdom is a never-ending journey, and the mysteries of Atlantis and Ostlan serve as a reminder of the vast expanse of human potential. Copyright Dan Dillman All Rights Reserved